Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing reading for Sound of Taurus, and keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Taurus. If you like a personal reading, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. Repeat that. First link in the description down below for a personal reading. I also found a bunch of other things there in the description. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there. A bunch of things there on my Etsy shop in the description down below. You can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. If you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here, so towards. Let's see what Spirit has in store for yourself. the dreamer a new star trust yourself push your fears aside and take a leap of faith we have awakening a temporary pause for reflection and insight an awakening where you see things in a whole new light embrace your own uniqueness charitable actions but the magician magic is alive in your life what you need to be a successful manifest if you believe it you can do it we have the ace of wands an amazing opportunity be bold courageous and optimistic now is the time to take action do what you're passionate about the Six of Wands, Victory, Wise Choices That Bring Public Recognition and Success, Promotions, Awards, or Scholarships. We have Balance, Blending the Ideas of Others with Your Own to Create Something Extraordinary, Successful Compromise, Power of Diversity, Self-Control, Patience, and Balance. We have the King of Swords, Intelligent, Impartial, Respected, Stoic, Receiving Wise Advice, Remain Objective and Fair-Minded, Public Speaking, Communicate Clearly, Unemotional Relationships are Being Emotionally Unavailable. You have the Wise Counselor, which is your own card because you have Taurus on it. Unity with the spiritual-minded community. Ask the Divine for help and trust the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. Taurus, it's, we're having new things coming into your life. You're just jumping into the new here. We have the Dreamer, the Magician. This is something that you manifested here. What I also feel like is we have success. All right, victory. This is victory within inside itself, but it feels like there's passion. Connecting more with, the, with your spirituality, spiritual community. This is the keys that are being presented to you here, Taurus. This is the balance. It's like you're having... Um, you've reflected for a minute. You had to reflect for a minute. Take a step back, and now you're manifesting. You're getting into it. You're jumping into it. Now we have the King of Swords here, which is air. So I don't know if you have air placements or an air sign around you here. Of ego, the illusion of being trapped, accept responsibility for your situation and make choices that support your path to happiness. Addictions or unhealthy habits. The Six of Cups, children or childhood, revisiting old dreams or plans, embracing your inner child, the return of people or romances from your past, romanticizing how things used to be. The Ten of Cups, a happy marriage, a happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successfully, people you can trust. And the Ten of Pentacles, financial security for yourself and your family, inheritance or retirement, peace and contentment in life, honoring family traditions, pride in the family tree, passing on knowledge. And the Two of Cups, falling in love or resurgence of romantic relationship, forgiveness and the ending of challenges, exchanging gifts, don't give up on people you love. And the King of Pentacles, Taurus, compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, grounded, a time of great success, financial security and prosperity, the Midas touch, everything turning out beautifully. The support of parent and spouse, a good person to work for. You have the Hermit, which can be that of Virgo. We have time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shine your light as an example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual mentor. Self-discovery. The Ten of Swords, the end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity for new happiness, a weight off your shoulders. The end of addiction, a melodramatic reaction. Taurus, there's a release of the old... Letting in the new, there's that reflection here, like like going within, reflecting, letting the old go, letting what does not serve you go, Taurus, right? 
maybe even being that of a spiritual mentor there. We have the hermit, the wise counselor being there. Before, I feel like you're discovering yourself, becoming more back into your power towards the king of pentacles being there. And I feel like money is going to be a big thing for you with the Midas touch in this card. Ten of pentacles, financial security happening for you towards now. Yeah, releasing the old ego being there as well. But now we have a soulmate here, Taurus. It was funny we had that with the balance. There, there. Either way, we have that of a soulmate coming towards you, Taurus. We have Cupid striking its arrow. Alright, can lead to that of a happy marriage, a long term relationship, be that of children as well. Nine of Cups, romantic, flirtatious, introspective, fickle, falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair, a lack of balance in a relationship, situation or topics that make your heart flutter, a love of art and poetry. Ace of Cups, a beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship or deep friendship, awakening of psychic gifts in, or spiritual insights, a love letter, a new home. We have the Wheel. A fresh new start or the end of delays, sudden or unexpected progress, a very positive change in your life, travel or a new vehicle. The Five of Swords, an unwise choice. There's a better way that'll make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or have questionable motives. The Page of Swords, loyal or not loyal, logical, perceptive, insightful, blunt, an exciting intellectual challenge, brilliant insights, information that you need but might be challenging to receive. Renew, reveal all documents very carefully. The Six of Swords, the end of challenging times, things looking up, a welcome relief, finding your way to a peaceful place, the end of a depression or illness, travel or relocation. The Seven of Swords, loss of peace of mind or personal freedom, take caution and be aware of others' actions, make sure you are being honest with yourself, embarrassing secrets, and then we have the Eight of Cups, need to move on, seeking more from life than what you're experiencing, a spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, change of priorities, leaving home, Taurus, there's big things here happening for you. First up, Letting go of people who like, letting go of people who like to embarrass you. Who lie. They like integrity there. Moving on from that, whether it be friends, family, love, whatever it is, but letting that go because it's like that. That's not something you need in your life here. I also feel like you'd be traveling, getting a new home, going somewhere new. All right, maybe that with new vehicles here, but it feels like we have a relationship where it's very deep. Towards the emotions are there. It's like it's. It's coming in. There's the flirtatious there. There's the romance there. Psychic gifts are also being awakened for you. But I feel like there's going to be a lot of conversations that gets your heart going. That actually, you know, actually interesting conversations. Not boring, short talk. Small talk is what it's called, actually. Someone where... Someone who is actually interesting to you. All right, where you can actually have logical conversations with them, you can have romantic conversations with them, you can have conversations with them, you can have feelings with them, you know what I'm saying? It's like, like a good relationship coming here. And it's like very unexpected. Just too many cards. Five of Pentacles, negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges. Here's surrounding money. Reach out to others for assistance. We have release. Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations or people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation. Nine of Wands, protect what you have created. Be prepared. Never give up. Ask your angels for help. Environmental activism and animal rights. Transformation, a significant life experience that requires change to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations, breaking free of procrastination, releasing old belief systems. We have the sun, so we're connected with the sun here, Taurus. A great time of joy and success, brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities, plans that work out perfectly, gratitude to the divine. We have the eight of wands, too much going on, stress caused by many positive opportunities, unexpected events or rapid changes, the ability to multitask, business travel. 
Three of Pentacles, do what you love, recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft, working well with others, and an excellent reputation. Of the High Priestess, meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. This is not a time for action. Develop your intuitive gifts and trust the wisdom. For see, once again, we're talking about intuition, we're talking about psychic abilities here. Releasing the old, releasing things that were like expired a long time ago here towards. These are the changes, letting the new in. Letting the new people in, letting the new opportunities in tours. Okay? This is a great time of joy once you do that. And letting go of thoughts that are weighing you down as well. But you're moving forward here. Things are going to be picking up quite fast for you. You're getting more recognized for your work here as well. Especially if you do something spiritual here at Taurus. Going back to that wise counselor, high priestess being there. So let's get some room, some chance yourself. We have Bastet, we have Ra, Hathor, we have the Sun Beetle, which are connected to, which we do to the Sun here, connected with the Sun quite heavily, we have the Scarab Beetle, we have the Dragon, Dragon means Chinese so sign of the Dragon, Dragon be power, strength, gluck, prosperity, supernatural powers, we have the Moth Girl, which you're connected to, so you're connected with the Moth here, Taurus, the Moth could be connected to the Moon, Spiritual Initiation, Awakening of psychic gifts and abilities that which we do see the high priestess right there towards. Now we have we have rewards coming in and that is justice. So that's all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below for personal reading. Also go to my Etsy shop, go in there, go buy something. Really appreciate that. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like subscribe. Bye guys.